Hello everybody, it's Mr. Ryder again. Excited to have another day of social studies um, for your online learning. And we're going to continue with our New Mexico um, study. And today I'm going to start off by reading an awesome book called New Mexico Land of Enchantment Alphabet. The author is Jan Mike. And I believe Jan will forgive me because we're going to have to kind of speed through her book, and I'm going to read what each letter of the alphabet uh, means for um, our state. But I'm not going to be able to read all of these fine details down here because we have a lot to talk about today uh, in my lesson. But let's get started with our awesome book, Land of Enchantment. That's the nickname for New Mexico. A is for Apache a tribe of New Mexico. B is for Bandelier National Monument. C is for Carlsbad Caverns, one of my favorite places on planet Earth. D is for the Desert Tarantula. E is for Eagle. These are two animals that live in our state. F is for flag. G is for ghost town. That's our state flag. We'll talk more about that this week. Ghost towns don't have ghosts. That just means that they're um, no longer inhabited by people. H is for hot air balloons. I is for the International Space Museum. J is for Jackrabbit, and K is for Kachina. L is for Luminarias. M is for Mountain Lion. We see lots of Luminarias every Christmas here in New Mexico, not other places. N is for nut pine. O is for owl. Nut pine, we can also say pinon tree. That's our state tree. P is for pueblos. Q is for that dinosaur name that I cannot pronounce. Maybe you can. I'm not going to even try. R is for Roadrunner. S is for Smoky Bear. T is for Turquoise. U is for Uranium. V is for Volcano. W is for Wheeler Peak. X is for Xeroscape, Xeroscape, I believe. And Y is for Yucca, our state flower. And the Z is for Zozobra. Once again, I may be mispronouncing some of those words. And that's our book. Well, we learned some New Mexico facts in that for sure. Uh, but I want to go over some more New Mexico facts that I would like us all to know. First off, the nickname for our state is the Land of Enchantment. That's kind of cool because to be enchanted by something is to be mesmerized because of its wonder and beauty. And that's kind of how our state is. The state question. We have a state question? We sure do. Do you know it? It's red or green. And I think we all know... Why? Because when you go to a Mexican restaurant, a lot of times the um, waiter or waitress will say, would you like red or green? And that means chili. You knew that. The steak cookie is the biscuitito. We have that um, a lot of times at Christmas. The major river of New Mexico is the Rio Grande. Or if you'd like to get fancy with it, the Rio Grande. Give it a shot. Right now, go. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, all of these facts are part of what makes our state unique. And we need to know what the word unique means. 
Everybody put up one finger right now. The word unique means one of a kind. You are one of a kind. I am one of a kind. Uh, no one's quite like me. Uh, here's an interesting story. I have a, a lovely young lady in my class named Kinsey, and she's a twin, an identical twin. But I tell you what, if you know her sister, and a lot of you do, you, can, you, you know that both of them, even though they look just alike, they are still very unique. Um, well, guess what? States are unique, too. Um, we have all kinds of great things about our state. We just read about some of them. I just gave you some facts. And the things that make our state unique is kind of what makes up our culture. Uh, the word culture means a way of life for a certain group of people. Um, there's lots of groups of people all over the world, and different groups are, are groups of people have different cultures. And I want to uh, show you an example of what I mean when I say different people groups have different ways of life, different cultures. Like I told you last time, I'm from Louisiana. I'm proud of it, but I'm also proud to be a New Mexican because I love it here. Two very different cultures. We're going to do a Venn diagram right now. Louisiana and New Mexico Venn diagram. Here's the Louisiana circle. Here's the New Mexico circle. They overlap in the middle, and that's where we're going to put some things that are alike. But first, we're going to talk about how these states are different. I'm going to run through it really quick. The kids in my class know how Louisiana is, but I want to tell you a few things about Louisiana. First off, we eat lots of seafood and Cajun food. So I'm going to put that over here. Seafood and Cajun food. Next, we have a lot of African American and white people. African Americans are there and white people. And not much else. Of course, there's lots of different cultures, but those are the two main ones. Um, we do a lot of hunting in Louisiana. There are a lot of lakes in Louisiana, and I mean a lot of them. Uh, and there's also a holiday called Mardi Gras. It looks like Mardi Gras, or Mardi Gras, but it's really Mardi Gras. Let's move on now to New Mexico. New Mexico side, we have lots of cool things that make us unique here in New Mexico. We have delicious Mexican food. And we have Native American food that's really good. We also have different people groups and a lot of, um, let's say, Hispanic people are in New Mexico. There's white people and Native Americans. And just like I said, there's other cultures, of course, as well, but, uh, but there's probably mostly those three types. There is a festival at here, we call it the Balloon Fiesta. And we have adobe houses. Not many other states have adobe houses. But now that we've talked about ways that we're unique in the middle, we're going to talk about how both of these states are alike. And I think, well, first off, they're both states in the USA. That's kind of cool. Um, they have unique food. There are festivals. Not all states have festivals. And there are special people. That's how, that's what we have in common. So there you have it, a Venn diagram about Louisiana and New Mexico. Um, now, what your homework is for tonight? I have a little homework list. We have talked a lot about what makes New Mexico unique. Now, what I want you to do is talk to your family about that very same thing. I want you all to get a piece of paper. It only has to be one. And I want you to go up to each person in your family. I know they're home. And I want you to say, what makes New Mexico unique? What is one of a kind? And if they say silly things like, oh, there's people here. Well, you can say, hey, there's people everywhere. But what makes us 
one of a kind or special. What's special about our state that's not special in other states? Don't say, oh, there's snakes here. Well, there's snakes in Louisiana and Florida and California. Think about things that make our state unique, and maybe you'll find out some new things that make uh, New Mexico unique, and then you can maybe even share those things with me uh, later on. Well, that's it. That's all I have for today in our second lesson on New Mexico. Thank you very much for listening, and as, and as always, Go Tigers!